Well, the weird thing about cathode rays is that, first of all, it's taken on its face that it's a vacuum, right? But humans can't really make perfect vacuums. And it turns out that the cathode ray devices or any of these vacuum discharge devices, they don't work at all if they're full of air. But then at some point, if you get the vacuum too low, you basically can't do it at all. And that's really, really weird because for us, it points to the fact that whatever's happening to those gases is instrumental in the transmission of this process. And so you have an opportunity for there to be action and actors that aren't part of the fundamental story. I actually was looking at this, that when you produce a sufficiently high vacuum, the only way that you can pass charge through a cathode ray tube is through thermionic heating of the cathode, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is that you basically have to heat it to, I think I looked, it was almost a thousand degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. But there isn't a theory that explains why this destruction of the cathode is necessary in order for the mm -hmm. electrons to escape. Because mm -hmm. if you're shooting little bowling balls, you would expect mm -hmm. that, why, why would you need to destroy the cathode in order exactly. to shoot your bowling ball?